In the Australian state of Queensland, you'll find a futuristic metropolis rising from the banks of a winding river. One of the oldest and most diverse cities in Australia, Brisbane was founded on the ancient traditional lands of the Yagara people. Today, the skyline looks like a scene out of a science fiction film. Join Built, the Bluebeam blog, as we discover five examples of Brisbane's iconic architecture, past and present. Our first structure is the Story Bridge, and it's just as vital to understanding the story of Brisbane as any building. Constructed as a public works program during the Great Depression, it stands today as the longest cantilevered bridge in Australia. Led by John Bradfield as the project's chief consulting engineer in 1940, the bridge's construction was challenged by constant water seepage. Builders had to excavate 40 metres below the river for the southern foundations, and workers ran the risk of decompression sickness from working in the pressurised environment. Nowadays, the bridge is known for being the star of the annual River Fire fireworks display. Brisbane is known for its futuristic skyscrapers, and One William is one of the newest and tallest. Nicknamed the Tower of Power, it houses more than 5,000 Queensland government staff. Construction was completed by Multiplex in 2016 after a three-year build. 75,000 square metres of office space in a modernist style now welcomes the Queensland government. Each floor has a theme and colour scheme dedicated to a Queensland icon or natural phenomenon, like the saltwater crocodile or green tree frog. One William also features rounded corners to mitigate hierarchies and space ownership, like a giant round table. Rewind 127 years and the Brisbane Customs House stands from the British colonial days. Designed by Charles Maclay and completed in 1889, it was originally used for the collection of customs duties when Queensland was emerging as an important port city for trade. Maclay made use of pedimented gables and a massive colonnade in the Victorian free classical style. The Australian Customs Service occupied the building for a hundred years, but it's now being leased to the University of Queensland. Public pride in the building has always been considerable, leading to a well-deserved spot on the state's heritage list. We move from the Customs House to the Brisbane Powerhouse, a decommissioned power station that now serves as an arts and cultural hub. Built from load-bearing masonry, the station provided power for an entire tramway network. Originally constructed in 1927, it was reopened in 2000 by architect Peter Roy. In the remodel, Roy and his team created more defined interior spaces and removed parts of walls that had deteriorated. The intact boiler house and turbine room now hosts a 536-seat theatre and rooftop terrace. Like many progressive cities, Brisbane is at the forefront of the urban renewal trend. In the heart of the central business district stands Brisbane City Hall, a magnificent Italian Renaissance-style structure. Once the tallest building in the city, it was designed by Firm Hall and Prentice in 1920. It's made of concrete, brick and steel, with a massive base of granite. The clock tower is supposed to evoke St. Mark's Campanile in Venice with its symmetrical and formal design. Corinthian and Ionic columns also span the perimeter of the structure. In 2008, severe structural problems were discovered and the building was closed for a massive three-year renovation project. Since reopening, City Hall has been used for royal receptions, pageants, orchestral concerts and political meetings. There's so much history to uncover in Brisbane, but when viewing the city skyline from Kangaroo Point, you can easily feel like you're gazing at a city of the future. If you like this video and want to see more, in addition to Bluebeam video resources, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel.